Welcome to my first tutorial of making a Maple Story music video in After Effects. In this episode, I will show you the very basics, or maybe not even the basics, but I will more or less give you tips uh, to get started. Um, first of all, I want to announce my forum named Hennessy's.tk, and this forum I created for people who like to create Maple music videos and other videos related to Maple Story, and you are also very welcome if you like to make like sprites or if you even like to make drawings um, which have something to do with Maple Story. So everybody is actually welcome here, and but we are mostly doing Maple Story videos of some sort. So that's what I am. I made a forum for in the start. So we are going to start this tutorial right now, and I'm going to show you the tips that I'm talk talked about, or that I will talk about. Uh, what I'm talking about is Google Drive. Um, I like to do Google Drive. And why do I like Google Drive? Well, because it's 15 gigabytes free of space so what I am doing I actually just keeping my Maple Story music video files in Google Drive so I can access them wherever I want because of the reason that I work on multiple computers I am not always working on this computer sometimes I'm working on another computer I am also using this because in case of my computer would crash and if I wouldn't be able to recover those files well they would be gone but with Google Drive I can keep them I can use Dropbox or any other stuff but I like Google Drive mostly because well it's Google because I fancy them well I don't really like that fact that they you have to have a Google Plus account to comment on YouTube right now, but that's another thing anyway. So, um, so simply get Google Drive. What I also have is Google Drive right here. So I got it on my computer, download it, the software, and simply save your MMV and there's files right here. I also don't save everything on Google Drive. I just save the project files and the very sprites, the custom sprites and characters that I'm using. Um, the officially Maple Story sprites I have saved on the C drive um, due to the reason because the, quite a lot of them it takes space and I just put all those files on every computer that I'm using so I have them on an USB memory stick so but I can put them on Google Drive but I just don't have it and I also got some video transitions that I used to use or that I will be using I got some awesome stuff here that you can use for transition between your scenes so that's another tip you can look at um, this awesome transitions that will like work work it great now so um now we are going to get started in After Effects and oops I already made a composition a project because I'm always recording this video over and over again because I'm never getting happy with it so open After Effects I am using CS4 version because I've always been using it I never changed because well I like it so file a new project and we got a new project so first of all you want to create your composition you can right click here and take new composition or you can go to composition new composition doesn't matter we're going to use the presets I always are using this one HDV HDTV 720p and 25 frames per second and it's square pixels and this one gonna be zero this one I wanna tell about this one 
it's how long well, it says duration and that's what it is but I want to show you a quick tip here if you want one second long you know this if you press one it's like one millisecond or something like that and if you press a period it becomes one second if you press another period it becomes one minute and if you press another period it becomes one hour so you can simply just if you want that 30 seconds you can like 30 and a period and it quickly is 30 seconds if you want one minute and 30 seconds to do that is one period 30 period so but it's also easiest to do this manually so this is just some milliseconds or whatever you want to call them this is the seconds minutes and the hours so you can just like look for the seconds like that so here's the timeline here you can zoom in the timeline here where's the layer panel is going to be here's the resolution when you're working I always used to choose quarter when I doing render preview because else it will take so long and quarter will is, is simply the quality of how you want to see on the face you can use the scroll wheel and you also need to have this window activated you press in the window and you will see those yellow lines what's activated actually so or you can just change stuff here zoom if you don't have a scroll wheel and so that's it we got our composition you should always name it I also used to name it you can actually just click on it like I did now I press on the enter or whatever it's called I, I forget it um, but it's enter I used to call it and just name it something like if you want it to be an intro for example you can just name it also here oops go to composition composition settings we can name it here and we can change the seconds an intro maybe used to be 10 seconds let's say that so that's it and we want to save this file this is quite important we want to save this file I actually did one here because well I screwed it up screwed up <laughs> I will I always screwing up my tutorials I always make new now I'm not gonna make it I'm just gonna write on MMV you make your folder in Google Drive and we just make your MMV project now we got our MMV project and save it time to time you can go on file and say do it sometimes like one every five minutes if you want or you can just press ctrl s and we will save you can turn on auto save you do that some edit preference and auto save here so a pop up and you can go on auto save and save every some and then you just write the minutes if you like want every five minutes and to just save it like here because how many copies you're gonna have maximum so but I never using save this automatically say because I'm so using this control s to save so that's it for this tutorial I will so that's it you know check out the forum it's awesome forum actually so you should just check it out used to get some more views now and so yeah this has been like 10 minutes it's been a simple tips and a simple start on the project and I am going to make more videos coming soon so check them out go to my channel I will have a playlist and have all the videos right there so yeah that's it guys and gals and everything so yeah that's it so check out my upcoming tutorials that you will probably be on my youtube channel now or very soon see you